it's Jennifer here with City Farmhouse Antiques and I am here this Friday to talk to you about what are some great gift ideas for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So I always think with what we do here at City Farmhouse Antiques, of course we've got great home decor pieces, great vintage and antique items, and what is more romantic than jewelry boxes, perfume bottles, those one-of-a-kind, unique, heirloom types gifts to give to your sweetheart. And this is one of my favorite, favorite pieces. In fact, I can't believe it's still here. Look at the top of this. This is a gorgeous French jewelry box. And it's all hand-painted, hand-done. It's got wild um, herons or shorebirds hand-painted on the top with scalloped gold around the rim. It does not have its key, um, but you could easily find a key to put in there. Um, it's a coarse porcelain, it's a very high-end piece. It's got um, hand-painted flowers around the sides. And you can see it's got some wear to the gold where, it, I mean, it's got some age to it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. It's footed, so it's got these little feet on the bottom. And it's just a gorgeous glass piece, and I love the shape. Um, it's kind of like a, it's an oval, but it's just beautiful. So I think jewelry boxes and trinket boxes are always fun. I'm going to show you another one that I've got. This one is about the same size, but a little bit shorter. And this is also hand painted French. Now with this one, and you probably can't notice, but this is a good lesson. Take a real close look at that right side. I don't know if you can see the line. It's very easy to miss. This has actually been, um, the paint, if you can see, I'm trying to get the light just right. There's a line that you can see running through it. I'm going to teach you what to look for, where it has been touched up. Here you can kind of see where it goes across. They did an excellent job. There, can you see that, where it goes right up and it's been repainted and refurbished? Beautiful job touching it up. Um, but this is a gorgeous French piece, hand-painted. Um romantic type scene and it's also a little trinket or vanity box let's see here if I can open it for you it's kind of tricky to open let's see hang on there we go clasps tight there you can see the inside so it's not lined but it is um, of course porcelain But a beautiful piece. I just think these are romantic pieces, you know, to give as gifts, to put trinkets in, to use as a jewelry box. Um, it's marked France on the bottom. You can see it's a it's an old piece. And it's probably about six, seven inches. Look at those flowers, how beautiful they are. Just what a beautiful pattern in the pastel colors and pinks. And in addition to vanity boxes and different things like that, I think perfume bottles always make a really neat, unique gift for Valentine's Day. These are all hand-blown, cased glass, and this is the little stopper. Look how beautiful that is. It's a little stopper, so this would have been made to hold your perfume. This is not an antique, it's kind of just a vintage piece, but beautiful nonetheless to sit up on a vanity, on a bathroom, um, you know, on your dresser as a beautiful piece um, for a loved one. And I have these, these are brand new, they are from a collection, this is like a tangerine orange color, same thing. The stamen of the flower, it almost looks like it was done to, to look like an orchid. It comes out, and you can see they're in very good 
very good condition. They're not chipped. Again, cased glass. And so what do, we, what do we mean by cased glass? You can see that it's clear. It's cased in a clear glass. There you can get a better picture of it. Beautiful pieces. We have these in blue. We have these in this color and different shades of pinks. Um, and then some other different unique perfume bottles um, that aren't quite as expensive are going to be something like this. And this is a pretty piece. According to the light where you have it and where you sit it, it changes. So this is like a blue um, a real light blue, but then when you get it out in regular light, it's almost like a very light, faint pink lavender. Really pretty. And if you can see, it's got a design of a woman there and then of like a nude woman here and either a cherub or a like a like an angel or child. So that's another really pretty perfume bottle. So you can buy perfume bottles, antique per perfume bottles, vintage perfume bottles by all kinds of makers and in all different kinds of price points. Um, here is another little trinket box that's brand new that we just got in that I think is beautiful, another French piece. Um, this is another trinket box, very different, different color, a beautiful blue milk glass, but this has a hunting dog on the top as the finial. There you can see the, the, the hunting, um, the gun and the pouch and everything with it. And as you turn it around, this is a rectangular trinket box. But again, these things are cute gifts. You know, maybe your wife is a dog breeder. Um, maybe she's just a dog lover. Um, again, fun little things, unique gifts, something that you don't see every day that you can set out and admire and look at all year long. So that's another cute piece. And then I always, the last thing I'm going to share with you, I think Yadros make for a great gift any time of the year, but these are just particularly precious. Um, Yadros, of course, are porcelain figurines made in Spain. And there is a Yadro made for every occasion. This um, is two little girls getting ready for the ballet. Look at those flowers. Look at the detail in every little petal. And they are getting each other ready there. You can see she's holding a little flower in her hands. But adorable for a little girl or to get a little girl started. Maybe a grandma that wants to get a little girl started with her own little Yadro collection. Um, maybe a little girl that is in ballet or she likes a particular animal. There's all kinds of great Yadros to collect. But that's a cute one. And then this is one of my favorites, of course, because I'm a dog lover. And again, those of you who have wives that are dog lovers or sisters or children or friends, um, again, this is another Yadro made... Um, for someone that loves puppies. And this one I think is called Pick of the Litter. And look, there she's got, she's sitting on top of the doghouse. There's the mama. And there are the puppies. And then she's got this puppy here. And just so cute. I love this piece. One of my favorites. So anyway, those are some cute, cute Valentine ideas, gift ideas. Um, on the lower end, this is one more thing I didn't want to forget. These are cute. These are little, what what were antique hair receivers. So women would collect their hair, they would keep it in here, and then they would use it to stuff pillows and different things. But I think these make really neat gifts on the sink, on the vanity. Um, they're not real expensive, and they're cute, they're decorative, and I think they make a cute trinket box for your rings by the kitchen sink or anywhere. Your jewelry, your watches, uh, your valuables, whatever you'd keep on your dresser, your nightstand. And they're kind of a romantic little gift to give to a friend, to give to a little girl, to give to a wife. Um, they're a neat little piece. And, and it's something that's not real expensive, but it's antique. It's kind of romantic looking. And it's got a story. We all love a story, right? So anyway, these are some of our ideas. These are pieces up on the website. If there is something you can't find or something you're looking for, be sure and message us. 
tell me what you think of my videos. I am trying to work on getting better at my videos. Um, but if you have any comments, I would love to hear them. I'm trying to make these better, uh, more fun, more informative, and I need ideas and I need some help. So tell me what you think of the channel. Tell me what you think of the videos. Um, I'm always open to constructive criticism because I am trying to make the channel better. Um, and I really do want to try to get more people to come to the site and enjoy, um, and make it more interactive and fun. So I'm open to ideas. Be sure and subscribe to our newsletter at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com where we put up some of the newest finds. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please, again, tell me what you think. If there's something you want to see or something more of or you've got suggestions, put them in the comments box. And we will see you next week. Uh, have a beautiful day. And happy Valentine's Day.